Let's delve into the fascinating world of the cell cycle, a series of events crucial for the growth, development, and maintenance of eukaryotic cells. Join us as we explore the two main types of cell cycles, the mitotic cell cycle, also known as the somatic cell cycle, and the meiotic cell cycle, which plays a vital role in sexual reproduction. The cell cycle is a dynamic process involving the division and duplication of DNA, leading to the creation of two daughter cells. It can be broadly divided into two main phases, the interphase and the mitotic phase or M phase. Let's first take a closer look at interphase. Interphase is the preparatory stage divided into three key stages, G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. During G1, the cell grows and carries out normal metabolic processes. In the S phase, DNA replication occurs, resulting in the duplication of genetic material. The G2 phase follows, where the cell continues to grow and prepares for division. This phase is the same for both types of cell cycles. The mitotic or M phase is further divided into four stages. Now, let's dive into the mitotic cell cycle, also known as the somatic cell cycle. This cycle is responsible for the growth, development, and maintenance of somatic or body cells in multicellular organisms. The end result is the production of two identical daughter cells each with the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. The mitotic cell cycle comprises interphase and the mitotic phase, which includes prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, followed by cytokinesis. Moving on to the meiotic cell cycle, which is crucial for the formation of gametes in sexual reproduction. Unlike the mitotic cell cycle, the meiotic cell cycle results in the production of four non-identical daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. This cycle involves two consecutive divisions, meiosis I and meiosis II, each with distinct stages, including prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Both types of cell cycles are tightly regulated processes, ensuring accurate distribution of genetic material to daughter cells. Checkpoints and regulatory proteins play a crucial role in monitoring the cell's progression through different stages. Dysregulation of the cell cycle can lead to uncontrolled cell division, contributing to the development of diseases, such as cancer. If you want to know the human nervous system in detail, click on the left video, and to know about resting membrane potential, click on the right video. I'll see you there.